And we're back here at EMS Today 2013 with our finale episode. Myself, Jamie Davis, the pod medic, Chris Montero from the EMS Garage. And we got an opportunity to see our good friends from Alad Tech. And I asked Chad to come on up from Alad Tech. And, uh, yes. you know, we want to thank you guys for being such good supporters of the EMS podcast on the ProMed Network. And uh, well, thank and you just, for having uh, me on. Give you guys a chance to tell us a little bit about what you have going on. I know you're here at the show. Yeah. And yep. uh, what's Man going on with the EMS manager and all the things uh, you have going on? Lo lots of stuff's going on. We're in big hiring mode, we're growing very fast. Very nice. Right now, we have uh, about 930 EMS and fire departments using our software. Wow. Um, so, and every day or two, there's a new department coming on, so it's it's going pretty crazy. <laughs> Keeping keep really busy. Show's been really good. People have been coming to the booth nonstop, so I've been having a really good time. But um, yeah, I think what we have going on is um, we, we recently released a new upgrade to our mobile app. So, and I guess for people watching who and listening who don't know well, what, tell them a little bit yeah, about exactly. yeah, 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 what what EMS right. Manager is. It's uh, it started off primarily as an employee scheduling software. And so, and some people might think, well, why do you need something like that? Uh, the person who does the scheduling was probably saying, oh, I need something like that. But um, what it is, a lot of people who do the scheduling right now, they're collecting availability, they're collecting pieces of paper from their employees. Someone's got to sit there with 50 pieces of paper or 50 emails and piece together that schedule. Um, so, you know, some people are on a set rotation. Those people are a little bit easier, but the volunteers and the part-timers, those are quite a bit more difficult to manage. So someone might sit there for eight hours to create a one-month schedule, our software allows every employee to log in via their home computer, via their cell phone, via an iPad. They can submit that availability. They can submit their time off requests. Uh, they can do trade requests with other employees. Uh, and then that administrator is able to manage all of that. Uh, and a lot of times that eight-hour job will become a one-hour job. So we hear a lot of really positive feedback. And in fact, most of our sales now are from word of mouth from people who are telling the, the neighboring services, yeah, I used to spend eight hours working on my schedule, now I spend 45 minutes. Wow. And so amazing. then they get pretty interested and they call us for and a I've demo. And <laughs> I've heard some amazing stories. I know in back um, at Expo, we had Steve Taylor on from, I think, Wake County EMS. Sure. Um, yeah. And he was, he was saying that uh, they have, they, they had a guy doing 20 hours a week spending on scheduling yeah, because yeah. of the way they have their system set up and he took that down to like three or four hours yeah, yeah. just just that initially right. just moving to ems manager yeah. and, but it does a whole lot more than that because it tracks employees now as well it, and, it and does more. yeah yeah it tracks all their certifications so it gives you alerts when things are expiring uh it does a lot of emailing and uh, text messaging capabilities so someone calls in sick you don't have to any longer go down a phone list one at a time calling people nice. it'll blast out a text message saying hey mm -hmm. who can work and it's smart enough to know, you know, if, if the person who called in sick was a paramedic and you need another paramedic to fill that slot, it's smart enough to know, okay, let's only send text messages to other paramedics. Well, so um, you said you have about one or two services coming on a day, mm -hmm. basically. I, how hard is it to get set up? Is it something, you know, is that going to take me time or is, is, is there a quick deployment time? It's really fast um, and people are really surprised. I actually had a phone call from uh, Alberta Health Services they were having some problems. The, what they were currently using, the server crashed. And they said, we need something as quick as possible. How quickly can you get it up? And I said, I can, I can get it up today. And they laughed. They thought I was joking. But no, I, I spent a couple hours wow. and got it set up. I gathered all their information from them as far as their schedule names and what their requirements were per shift, all the shift times. And yeah, within a couple hours, it was up and running. Well, so, and it's cloud-based, yeah. so yeah. that they don't require an internal IT guy to be running or installing anything. Yeah, uh, Upgrades yep. are included and come along whenever yep. they're available. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't need your own server. So all, as long as you can get on the internet, you're good to go. I don't need to fly up there to install anything. So it makes our system a lot less expensive because we don't have to drive up there or fly up there. We can do it all from our home base. You can stay where you're at, and it's, you'll have it that day. Um, that's yeah. absolutely impressive. It, it's really impressive. And, and um, people can go to emsmanager.net and actually yep. get a free trial, free demo of the, of the software yep. and take a look at it. Sign up there. All you need to do is sign in with your email address so uh, they can get you hooked up. And you got you can try it out, kick the tires. Yep. And yep. I, I know just from Mike going on there and, and, and checking it out uh, from the Medicast and looking at it from my standpoint, just, just all the little things. It's hard to put your finger on it, but it's kind of like... 
the apple of scheduling software. Oh, thank you. I mean, it, yeah. you know, that you've really thought it through, and when something new comes along, you implement it very, very elegantly. Thank you. Yeah, we try. We try. Ease of use is very, very important to us. So we want people who have almost never used the computer to be able to get on there, put in their availability, put in their time off request. That's really important to us. Very so, cool. Well, great. Well, yeah. Chad, thanks for coming great. on. I'm glad. Thank you very much. Yeah, great. Come yeah, in and, good. and yeah. sit down with us, and Wonderful. and uh, thank you again for all of the Lab Tech support for the EMS podcast on the network. We really appreciate all you do to help us put our shows out. Great. Well, thank you. Great. We'll be back in just a second with another guest here on our finale episode. Stay tuned. <laughs>